As Ukrainians suffer incomprehensible loss during the war with Russia, there are many in this country who are also feeling the scars of the conflict. About 350,000 Ukrainian-born immigrants live right here in the United States, and two of them are sharing their stories and their photos with us. Irina is a teacher from a small town in central Ukraine. She didn't want to say the name for fear of what might happen to her family there. And Olesia came to the United States in the 1990s as a student from Kyiv. They told us about the guilt they feel because they are safe from the war and their hopes for life once the fighting is over. Well, my name is Irina Ormond. And originally, I am from Ukraine. Everybody who I know and love, I in Ukraine. I'm the only one here. I wake up, and every time I, my first thing what I do, I run to the phone, just make sure that they're okay. It's really upsetting because I have millions of thoughts in my head. Maybe they're in in the shelter. Maybe something happened to them. My name is Alessia Govoran, and I'm originally from Kiev, Ukraine. When I think about my current experience, it's almost like having a death in your family every single day. I think there's also guilt that I'm not there, that I cannot physically defend my country. I'm very fortunate to be in this country at this moment, though I feel guilty every day about that. My brother, he's actually an engine driver. He is the one who is driving the trains from eastern Ukraine to western Ukraine, bringing uh, refugees. It's not enough to take everybody, and some people couldn't get in, and it's heartbreaking. My aunt doesn't have water, she doesn't have electricity. It brings it very close to home for me. I grew up in Ukraine, but it was part of the Soviet Union. It was a happy childhood. As my grandparents on mother's side had a wonderful house with a cherry and apple trees around it. I hope it won't be bombed. That's what I hope for. And those beautiful trees won't be burnt. And um, it's, um, it's emotional, you know? It's, it's very close to home. When I hear the news, I feel like almost a physical sense of being there. And, and you know, that, that, that makes it very, very difficult. But Kyiv is absolutely gorgeous. When I think of Kyiv, I think of golden domes of so many churches. It is, it is peaceful. I try to be calm on the surface and restrain my emotions, though sometimes it's impossible, especially when you talk to people who still think that Putin has a right to do what he's doing. The Ukrainians are like a beehive. We are peaceful bees, you know, we mind our own business, we work for the collective good. But if somebody attacks the beehive, we all unite. We know that there is a big Big work is ahead of us, but we are not afraid of it. We would like to build a new Ukraine. My dad passed away um, slightly more than a year ago. He believed that Ukraine was kind of like a phoenix bird, that you know it will always rise from the ashes, and it has always risen from the ashes. Boy, I hope Boy. she's right. What we yeah. do know about the Ukrainian people, they are very strong and very proud yeah. of their country. Rising from the ashes, I think millions of people, not just Ukrainians, not just people of Ukrainian descent in the United States, but all around the world would like to see that happen. Yeah. And I like when she says that Kyiv is a very beautiful place. I think that's good to know because for us, when we look at it, for many of us, the only images we now know are bombed out and just destroyed and decimated. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the, very the, nice. Kiev, in many ways, looks like Paris or yeah. any other major European capital. Yeah. It's a beautiful I, city. I have heard that. 